don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Where, where are we going? Where? We got Gandalf here. We got Gandalf. Is that your neck or body? Is that? I have it. He needs. It. And then uh, here's the test shot. Matt Striker. Let me know. Send me some Venmo, bro. I got you. You bought it. Subverted, sir. He bought it. He subverted. He bought it. I'm the only guy now that wants to go to Waffle House. This you are. Is... You have trimmed down a bit, I will say. Yeah, you look good. It's, you know, not going to Waffle House. That's it. <laughs> Listen, you know what? After this, me and you steak dinner to wash the badness out of my and mouth. That, that's what's palpable right there. <laughs> Big Earl, six million dollar man headquarters. If you want six million dollar man action figures and bionic woman action figures, I got them. I love it. I don't even have to say anything. This man just goes right into it. That is perfect. You heard him. You heard the man. This is insane. It's not a toilet video without Kempo. It's so. not a toilet without your guy. He's out there painting them right now. Oh, really? I will have to go check that he's out. He's pulling them out of his Corvette. They okay. Like, Ron's going to want to see this. This is a really impressive room setup. JB's toy trunk, everybody. You got Century Mad like the dad himself. Cake fan, strawberry shortcake. Andy Cook, got your Christmas gift right there. Look at what we have here. Chad freaking Ploof. Look at what we have here, buddy. Look at what we freaking have here. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday, March 22nd, and I am here in Peachtree Corners, Georgia, gearing up for one of the very best weekends of the year, Toylanta 2024. It's preview night, so in a moment I am going to head downstairs and get you guys a first look at the show before the general public has access to it, and then tomorrow during opening day, I plan to get you guys full coverage of the show to the very best of my ability. So with that said, why don't we get this party started, head downstairs and check out preview night. I'm also starving by the way, and I could really use some Waffle House. Okay, bye-bye. Okay guys, here we go, walking into the main room. I think this is called the Honeycut Ballroom. Already filled up here during preview night, right away. Mad Roller Cycle, I have this. Looks like there is some patchwork tape on that. First booth here, right to the left as you walk in. Wow, Snake Mountain. Hey! JT, what's up, pal? Nice to see you. Man. Good to see you too. Yeah, it's crazy to connect. I know this should be this should be off off filming, but uh, we'll have to do that. We'll have to do that. I'm not gonna interrupt your video, man. I'll let you get back. to No, not at all, buddy. Come check us out in uh, in the cob room. That's the plan. Yeah, I'm gonna do a lap here and then go check you guys out there. Well, for your followers, the whole reason that I'm here is because of Century. That's so crazy. Inspired two or three years ago with that that Batman, that Asbat. No, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anyway. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you too, bro. Yeah, man. JT Frazier, I will put his information either on the screen here or in the description of this video below. The sewer place at Box, so we do have that. Some wacky action stuff up there. Michelangelo. I've seen some turtles. I've seen some pops. And here's the back left corner that we're walking into it's like a barbie booth here sorry about that pal. and then got a mix of comics and toys here cadillacs and dinosaurs jersey geek said it once said it twice i'll say it a million times where are you at Box stuff too, the tri bike. Some looses here too, turtles. This, the show is massive. You almost forget how massive it is until you're here trying to film it all. Sorry, pal. No problem. And also filming, trying to knock it in everyone's way here 
Got some Joes here with the file card. Street Fighter Joe up there. Some PS4 and PS5 games on the table. Here's the next booth. This is a really nice display, wow. With the file cards, really nice. Oh wow, this is a beautiful Slaughter's Renegades piece. I had this piece, but I had something written on it. And that really bugged me, and I didn't bother to try and remove it, so I sold it. But I don't collect Joes. I need to stay away from Joes. G.I. Joe and Pez, I need to really badly stay away from. Some modern stuff here, McFarlane Mortal Kombat. More Joes up there. Quarter scale, Jungle Hunter, NECA. Sweet. And of course, as always, the Mythic Legion's corner. Always a high traffic zone. We'll look to get into that a little a little more tomorrow. Imperial shuttle here. Box. Carded turtles, man. This is this. There's just stuff everywhere. Oh, oh yep. Matt Striker. Let me know. Send me some Venmo, bro. I got you. Wow. Unpunched. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably pay the siding off. The siding project that I have going on in my house right now. Let me know if you got that blank Thanks, man. Will do. Jones. Oh, do you? Yeah. Carded and loose and both? Or? Carded. Awesome. I'd definitely be interested in taking a look at that at some point. I'll be here all weekend. So. There's some back here, too. Oh, sweet. I did see those on the backside. Awesome. Yeah. Do you have any uh, Universal Monsters on card? No. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, like, for me, anything past 91 that I'm really interested in, I have a lot of it, but not all of it, Universal Monsters and the Forgotten Sewers, Heroes of Forgotten Sewers. The Dwarf Don and those guys, yeah. Maybe now it's changed a little bit. <laughs> Next is stuff in here. Oh, this, I saw That's the one that the deluxe you got. This, this is an awesome booth. For sure. Put them back. It's all good. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's definitely quality. You can tell that it's legit. Yeah. It's no uh, Hasbro uh, Black Series. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for the education. Got some comics too up top. This is an awesome Real booth. You go Spider Man up there. Really nice. Let's see what's here. More Joes, lots of Joes, of course, which you will definitely always find at this show. I need to stay away from them. A Lucy bin of Star Wars, it looks like. Yeah, some here. bootlegs for Ron over here. Did you? I think it's a bootleg. You bought it. He bought it. He bought it. He bought it. He did. He bought it. Son of a bitch bastard. Congratulations, pal. I had to. Congratulations. I had to. That is amazing. Diamond Dave, what did we pick up here? Go ahead, tell the people. It's, I don't uh, need to tell them. It's really real. Honestly, God, it's crazy to say, but it's a mint in box. 
Is it, so is that unused? It's just open? Literally, the tape popped. I know. I'm like, I can't believe it. I'm jealous. Yeah, I, that's amazing. That that's 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 a loose collector's in my opinion, that's a loose collect vintage collector's dream. Right? It is. It, it, that. He, he just won an auction yesterday at the marketplace, picked these up yesterday and brought it to the event. So how insane is those for you know those events to fall into place? Maybe get it. I'm gonna need you to thank you know the show's gonna, gonna be about to cry right now. You ready for this? Yeah, he made this happen. Toy Federation's booth over there. Uh huh. Mint on card set of Jack specific Rocky figures. I just missed out on them. I thought you had those. I have a some of them, not all of them. I just missed out on the red on the red pants Drago. I'm very sad right now. Oh, He's someone just uh, somebody yeah. just I, I I got there too late. Oh, well, it's preview night, man. That's uh, what happens, and that's you know. The trade off to filming is missing out on stuff. Yeah. So. It is what it is. Captain Powerlift. There it is. The man said it. Thanks, Shogun Godzilla. <laughs> I want Waffle House, man. Uh, we're not doing Waffle House. I want, what do we, why not? We're not doing Waffle House. Seth's on a diet. I'm on a diet. It's, it's hard. God, he looked at me when I said diet. He's like, this mother. Yeah. I'm not the only guy now that wants to go to Waffle House. This you is... are absolutely the only one. You have trimmed down a bit, I would say. I'm okay. Yeah, you look good. It's you know not going to Waffle House at <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> What's we have here? Really old school Joe's in there. Sixties, seventies Joe's. Keep moving here. More Joe's got a Shogun up there, missing a flying fist. Big booth here. And then behind us. There's a lot. There's a lot to take in. Uh, that's what I just said. There's there's a lot. I'm just trying to do a slow lap this as slowly as I can. This is a hot mess right now. I it's, even, I, I'm, I've already missed out on a handful of things that I'm not happy. It's hot Atlanta. Lots of things that are you know. Listen, you know what? After this, me and steak dinner will wash the badness out of my and mouth. That, that's what's palpable right there. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? Oh man, my little pony in the box. It's kind of cool. JB's toy trunk, everybody. Got sent to Matt Clark, the dad himself. So, what are you looking at in here? There's a Mr. T. Mr. T grabs everything. There's a Mr. T. That's my last Mr. T thing. I was gonna say, do you have any A team stuff? That's my last. I had another puzzle like that. I started on a show. Oh, okay. That's, That's the original horseman stuff right there. Lucy Bins down there. That's the original horseman stuff right there. Oh yeah, I didn't even, filming this, I didn't even see it. That's awesome. Look at that sign here at the show. Oh, sorry, buddy. No, you're, you're good. You're good. And another Joe case here, which I feel like I'm accustomed to seeing it here along this wall with the horseman. Yeah, there are usually several Joe cases. All lined up here, same booth, I guess. Take a look. It's a lot of Joes. Goes all the way down. I'll give you guys a little peek here without being too obnoxious to everybody else. Trying to uh, check stuff out. Bruce Lee back there. Kind of cool. More turtles. Ooh. Where did you get all these Missing range, but has our oh man, I might have to sugar puffs. Oh complete. Oh. Where's the left on? I might have to buy this like right now. F and A. F and A cotton. F and 
And we're gonna have to dig through this. Got some vehicles here too. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, Daddy likes this. Daddy, Daddy likes this. Got a techno drone here. Maybe the eye is inside. I have one of these with the box, but I'm always on the hunt for upgrades, you know? Always have a wandering eye, except for when it comes to my wife. Not looking for an upgrade there. Caitlin, I love you. When it comes to toys, I'm not a faithful guy, if you know what I mean. Plushy Vince here. Captain Planet. Legends of Batman. Very cool. I mean, that's you know, you go to buy one thing. Yeah. I had to go to my dad and say, one new cash. Yeah. I have to pay him 10% back. Still probably, still probably. Very nice booth. I need to take a look at that. Oh, man. This whole row. Not even just this. But, wow. I have, I actually have Leo Wolfman. I have all of these carded. I just don't have them loose, but I do want them loose. So we're gonna come back here and take a look at that, at that Leo. Wow, I wasn't expecting to see that. This booth, I can tell you right away, is friggin' awesome. Look at this, look at this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right there. I don't need to be focused on this right now. Street sharks. Yeah. Got a crusher with the box. Oh, that's cool. Nice to see that. Oh, mean stuff up there. I know. Low molds. That's really cool. Robo Force. This booth is pretty awesome. Some obscure stuff here too, which is nice to see. A lot of street sharks. Star Wars in here. Black series. It looks like a Lucy case alongside the other end of the booth here. Looks like it's a mix of Motu and Thundercats. I know we're viewing this upside down, but it's just the angle that I have currently. I'm curious about a couple of items in that booth, to be honest. Look at this, all lined up. What in the world? Wow, wow, wow. I'm hoping to find giant sized turtles like I did last year or two years ago that I didn't buy. Amazing. Hi, guys. Big Earl, Six Million Dollar Man headquarters. If you want Six Million Dollar Man action figures and bionic equipment action figures, I got them. I love it. I don't even have to say anything. This man just goes right into it. That is perfect. You heard him? You heard the man. This is insane. This is crazy. Look at all this. Wow. This is really nuts. <laughs> so if you're looking to start a $6 million man collection, just come here and buy this entire booth. Crazy. This was the booth last year, or this was the spot last year where I found an amazing deal. Try to pan out a little bit. Um, an amazing deal on the Toy Biz Marvel training set. I got it for like 130. Sealed. Box is really nice. See, there's some thermoses, thermos cups up there. Some Marvel Legends to the top right. Simpsons top left. A Lucy table.
behind us. Bionic Woman. Take a quick pan here. And front and center, which was not here last year, Spiro Toys. I mean, before we even start, let's uh, give you a shot there. This is my good buddy, Nick Dubes, right in the middle. Take a look at their offering here. Head sculpts in here too. It's pretty sweet. Nice spread here. The general theme is awesome. I actually really like that figure a lot. Some more on top here. Really nice booth. There's another one. They are front and center. So just for some perspective, since we've been roaming around, we are right up the middle here of this room against the back wall. We have explored the left side of Honeycut Ballroom. We're now going to explore the right side. And then once we're done with the perimeter, we'll just walk through the middle. And I have probably missed out on lots of stuff. <laughs> Joe's Card of Ghostbusters. Hello, Joe's. Oh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, my goodness gracious. Look at that. That's a massive problem. That could be a massive problem for me, I'll tell you that. Wow, just a whole case of it. I wish it was LJ and AD and D stuff. Keep going. Diamond Dave picked off that mutant module up there. That's gone. Some Remco Karate Kid here. Guarded. Let's see if take a quick look. I think this might have been. I don't know if this was the booth last year that I got the crossbows and catapults from. It might have been. This booth is not set up yet, as you guys can see. Savage Crucible guys are here again, which is awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There it is. Black Star Ice Castle 1800. I think this is the same Black Star Ice Castle Chad Booth and I have been talking about. Yeah, it has to be. There's a team locker too. 4,000 I have one. One point I have two. The box looks pretty nice though. That is very cool to see. Wow. I am kind of stunned right now. But, uh, what roof is this? Because that ice castle, unused, 1800, the toy department had that. So. That, um, I am, I am very, very confused right now. The, uh, I save it up for the, you. Ooh, it's hard to go. Okay. Oh yeah, this has to be a, the same thing. Card and LG on AD&D. We're going to uh, probably 
This has to be definitely toy department? Yes. Yes. Not gonna look at the Yes it is, the toy department. Just looked at the sticker. Didn't realize they were here. I had no idea they were here. Okay, so I have to really take a closer look at that. Savage Crucible. Very nice big booth here, which we didn't see last year, which was cool. What's up, man? How are you, buddy? What's up, guys? We saw them at the first appearance. Savage so Crucible in Toyland in 2022. Saw them at the Maryland Toy Expo as well last year. I've got a big booth in the main room. That's cool. So. You guys got a nice spot this year. I remember when we were in the back room a couple of years ago. This is a. Uh, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is uh, this is good to see. You guys deserve to be in this room. This is awesome. Yeah, very excited for this. Yeah. Hey, you guys were saying at uh, the Maryland Toy Expo that there's some pretty cool things coming. So, I am, uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I just ran into my buddy Tim Peake. He was whispering in my ear, I didn't realize he was whispering in my ear or what he was whispering about, but uh, I bought some really amazing customs from him. This is the Toy Federation corner, by the way. I bought some really awesome customs from him a couple of years ago, and he was just following up to see if I was still happy with him. Talk about someone that cares about his craft and customer service. Such an awesome guy, and one of the absolute very best customizers in the game. Mythic Legions, he's part of the Savage Crucible team. And uh, there's some really awesome things that those guys are doing. That everyone that's into, and anyone that's into fantasy, high fantasy collecting, should be toy collecting, should be very excited. So I'm ask. Joe's down here. Turtle's down here. Two hundo on him, on Leo. I don't think we're going to be able to get in the back there, but it looks like there's a good amount of modern stuff back there. Six scale. Try to take a closer look at that booth tomorrow. We haven't hit this corner yet. We haven't hit this guy yet either. Kempool Collects, what's, what's up, buddy? Going on? Good to see you. It's not a Toyland video without Kempool. It's so. not a Toyland without the guy. <laughs> this guy. I'm you, excited. Uh, uh, I can't wait to uh, hear what you think. And, uh, you know, I tried uh, tried doing uh, the Gastonia trip. I was like, man, Ron did such a good job on these shops. I was going to say, I was just about to say, you uh, you did a really good job at Gamers Alley, man. And I actually was curious to see what they had since I was last there a few months ago. So that was very helpful to me. I, I was intimidated by Red Genesis. He had a lot of awesome things. This place but, is cool. Uh, you, uh, you nailed Red Genesis. Like... I felt like Gamers Alley, there was enough modern where I could kind of <laughs> get a video. There's in. a good mix there. There's a good yeah. mix there. Yeah. Yeah. And they're here. Are they here? Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize the toy department was here either, and but they are here too. People showing up is Toy Lana. It's awesome, man. Yeah, show's getting bigger and bigger every year. Very cool. Good to see Kent. Getting some grub later for sure. I'm, uh, I'm just about to uh, text Greg and let him know there's big tanks. Oh, yeah. Was, he's coming tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, it'll be good to see him too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, man. The walkthrough continues. The Joe corner here. It's called Joe's.
big tanks, as Ken said, along this wall here, and along this back wall, or I should probably say the front wall, as you walk in on the right side. Or Joe's. Ooh, got that Rocky Collector in there. Interesting. That's cool. Pretty sure Seth would want to see that. Excuse me. LJN's with the ring. Ooh. That ring looks pretty. I don't know if that's a repro sticker. That ring looks pretty. Got some Rocky stuff here. Maybe this was the booth Seth was talking about. Oh no, he was talking about Toy Fair. Toy Federation, where he missed out on some stuff. So Voltron here, we're at the next booth, right next door. Ooh, a firehouse with a box. I need the box. The box actually looks pretty good. The firehouse looks clean too. I actually have two firehouses. One is complete. I'm always in the market for a clean firehouse. And it's also Technodrome the box. Fright zone here. That puppet looks awesome. 200. I get a little closer. Wow, that's impressive. Some mutations here. Pizza thrower, I actually need a pizza thrower. Some turtle vehicles. Mm. Maybe three horses. I actually like the movie three horses, honestly. And some Jurassic Park. This is an awesome view. So I think we just did a full lap. And as promised, oh man, I see in humanoids, I see decompose. Standing right next to Shogun Godzilla. Does he have his tail? Like his rat tail? I'm gonna have to check that out. Let's go around and see. I want to see if he has his little blonde rat tail, and I don't see it. It might be hard to see here, but I can tell you right now that I don't think he does. It's kind of a bummer. Cool to see that, but uh, kind of a bummer. So I do need a decompose, and there's also a Kraken. A little closer here. Got some. Excuse me. Shogun Warriors. Oh, he does kind of have a spell. Oh, he does have it. He does have it. Interesting. Okay. Crack in here as well. Got a nice up close and personal look here at some stuff. What's up, buddy? Did you see those heads that they were telling you? Bite size geek here. What's up? Uh, no, I did not. Right out here. In the hallway, like right down to the left. Off to the left? Yeah. I have to, Creature I will from definitely. The black Lagoon. He's out there painting them right now. Oh, really? I will have to go check that out after this. out of his Corvette. They okay. Were like, Ron's going to want to see those. Someone so, mentioned that to me. Yeah. Yes. So thank got, you for telling me. right out there. So. That's awesome. I'm going to definitely check that out. This is a pretty spectacular booth here. Clash of the Titans, that Sharon looks really clean. Uh, I'm gonna take a closer look at, at that off camera. Yeah, this is another great booth. We have still not made it out of the main room here. An old honeycut. I love that right there. Get a little closer to that Spidey. Two hundred on the Spidey. 
A lot of Toy Biz stuff here. A lot of Toy Biz Spider-Man starter collection. Yeah, it is going to be impossible to make choices. It always is at this place, at this show. Heathcliff, <laughs> kind of want that. Actually, before we move on, I see some Willow in there. So we'll have to go take a look at some Willow. Another angle at this booth. Cool, we have some entry here. Yeah. 25 on old Heathcliff. I gotta show it to you. And some carded Willow. I need some of the collector sets. Minty. I don't have this. But I need, I actually need a. Some, Grace Gull up top. I need a um, Eversisk with the box. I need an Eversisk with the box. I see that. That's an immediate purchase. More Joes. A lot of Joes here. This is a really nicely set up booth. Really nice. So classified over to the left. Some loose figures down here. And behind us. Of course, not for sale. Awesome. Real bubble bath. <laughs> these, are, these are super duper cool. Oh, we got an Earl sighting. Blurp balls. 25 for Heba Heart there. Blue Snag, chilling, 385. How does he look? It's pretty good. Toe dent, can't really tell from the glare. Uh, I honestly can't. Oh, yeah, it's just a toe dent. Hasbro's. Nice mix of stuff here. That leads us back over towards the horseman wall, which is over here. And if we walk to the front, you guys will be able to see that oh, before we before we go any further, this is amazing. I didn't catch this the first time. This is a pretty freaking sweet display. Pretty awesome. And as we walk to the front here, we can now say we did a full lap through the Honeycutt Ballroom. Next, we will hit, I believe there are three rooms off to the side over there. We will try to get through all of those before preview night ends. Shame on me, before we leave this room, my buddy, Blue Ridge Toys and Comics, the booth that I bought a lot of stuff from last year, Tiamat, Fortress of Fangs. I saw that. 18, that 18 unused parts. So I would buy... Okay. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I would offer 15 or 16 on that, but the only problem I have, the only reason that's still up there is it's a little sun-faded. Like, the colors don't really... Pop. And I know beggars can't be choosers with that, but if I'm gonna if I'm gonna drop eighteen hundred on, I want a nicer box. Unused parts, or unused contents. Here. Yeah. So I mean, I like got. If 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 the box was a little nicer, the colors were a little nicer. I, absolutely. That's that's high on the list. 
Blue Ridge Stars and Comics. Another TM. These guys just four TM mods. It's unreal. Unbelievable. Carded Clash of the Titans here. Always amazing stuff at this point. Dragon Riders of the Sticks. I think I might actually pick up that flyer. Wolfman is awesome. There's so much cool stuff at this show. It is mind blowing and very, very overwhelming. Crystar as well. Closer look at that. We can snake our way in this booth. We've got a crack in. And look, look at what we have here. Chad freaking Plouffe. Look at what we have here, buddy. Look at what we freaking have here. I know I might be crazy for saying this, but I want a nicer box. I want a nicer box. I will hold out for a nicer box. My God, it is so cool to see that. Centurions, Mork and Mindy, Mindy in the corner there. Ooh, another world in the box. Sweet. Don't see that every day. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's immediately on the Navy list. It's Amigo here. 18. Dragon Riders on the card. Black Knight and the Demon Warrior. Carded LJN AD and D Series 1. Zarak and Kellic. Oh, yeah. This booth always has freaking heat. Muscle Warriors. Elkhorn chilling here loose. Looks like he's missing his sword. Loose Ragnar incomplete. Dragon Riders. It's Thor's actually. Pretty cool. Some more Migo superheroes. Party Ragnar. Muscle Warriors a newbie. Nico Hulk in the box is pretty sweet. Looks like some loose Star Wars in here. More bootlegs in Motu. Ooh, Ninja. That leads us into some Star Wars and G.I. Joe. Dragon Riders, holy crap. I'm afraid to touch this. I don't want it to break. This is complete. This looks complete. Um, I have to buy this. I might have to buy that. Well, first, what did I say? Did I say Dino Riders or Dragon Riders? So many Riders. Dino Riders. I don't know what I said. Dino Riders. Yeah, it does. It's okay. Some new Star Wars in there. Leaving King G.I. Joe up there. And then some loose G.I. Joe up against the uh, wall over there. Pretty sweet booth, as always. Blue Ridge Toys and Comics always brings the heat. Okay, now we are officially done with the Honeycut Ball. Where? We got Gandalf here. We got Gandalf. Is that your neck? Your body? Is that your I have it. He needs it. How much is it? It's an amount of money. What's the amount of money? Here, you tell me a number, and I'll say higher or lower. Two fifty. Higher. I wish. Four hundred. I wish. It's, it's you're not there. Anytime we say I wish, just keep going up. I wish. Yeah, yeah. I I wish two fifty. I wish four hundred. Two fifty. It already be in my pocket. And I already have it. Yeah. In my pocket. How much would you pay for it? Oh, McLeod. Uh, yep. What if he had a shirtless for the rest of the comp? What if he had a shirtless for the rest of the comp? We're here at Blue Ridge Toys and Comics, 4th user 74, same booth. And I didn't get a chance to get into this case, and I pointed out there were a few people in front of it at the time. The is dub, this complete? Is this complete? The dub found this. Complete Knickerbocker Lord of the Rings Gandalf. How much are you asking for? Looks like it is in very good condition. 
six hundred, which is not yeah, see, yeah. all things considered. So, and Seth is going to buy Centurions. Ooh. Oh, I'm a big, big dude. Freaking Ace McLeod. I, I know you spotted him right yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's it's an awesome cool. line, man. Kenner. Unbelievable. I wanted to get the ramen, the, the ramen ones that the those, got. Th those look good, yeah. Huh? Yeah, those look good. Yeah. Here's the mutant module leader himself. Yeah, they went full module. You never go full, you never go full module. <laughs> no. All new? Second Chance Toys, we're back at this booth. We're still in the Honeycut room. I keep saying we're leaving, but keep finding stuff, so... I was talking with Big Dub just a few moments ago. Vulcan Rock. It's not complete, but just to even see that is insane. Sitting right there in the corner. I just noticed that talking to Brian. And then, of course, I did mention the Dino Riders here. And then a whole stack of visionaries. Part of Leo. Those visionaries are my extras. It's sad to see them go. This booth has a lot of really high quality stuff. That Technodrome also looks amazing. And then the Star Wars Armored Battle Station. I have one with the box, but that in particular looks like a very nice example. Hard to see from here, but I might take a look at that. It could be an upgrade. And second Chance Toys booth. Absolutely crazy. Why don't we get, get in here? Now that we can. Really incredible to see that. And then Armored Battle Station Starriers. I can't really see the Technodrome up there, but uh, it looks, it looks crazy. Pretty crazy booth, actually. Amazing stuff. I am going to burn a hole for my wild fish just sold. Nice looking firehouse right here. Oh, look at the base on that. It's so clean. Look at that. Pretty amazing. Awesome booth. Okay, we are now done with the Honeycutt Ballroom. All right, we finally made it out of the Honeycutt Ballroom. I'm here with my buddy JT Frazier, Sasquatch Toys and Comics. What's up, pal? What's going on, man? Good to finally get to chat with you in the uh, in the old flesh here in person. Hey, absolutely. And this is your spectacular booth. Why don't we uh, why don't we why don't we step through some of this stuff because there is just some real heat on this on this table. We held aside specifically for you. Yeah, we came across this in the shop and being a huge follower of your channel, I knew you were into Dungeons and Dragons and so I saw this hit war and I was like, that's got Ron's name all over it. You know, still amazing, box. amazing box art. You know, and then a couple of the Conan, uh, you know, the Thunder Battle Stallion. Just awesome box art. We were kind of looking for this too, so we set these aside specifically for you, man. Um, you know, we got a whole Exo Squad collection over yeah, let's here. Let's take a look at that because this is pretty impressive. Instant Exo Squad collection. This is crazy. And so this was sourced from the same collector. All of it is owned by the same collector. Mint sealed. Uh, he'd been holding on to it for years. And uh, so we just picked up the entire collection wow. uh, so we could bring it to you guys. Yeah, this is this is incredible. Hey, look at that. That is step back. That is pretty a pretty impressive wall there. And then on the other side. You guys are in Alabama, right? Birmingham, Alabama, yeah. There it is. Got some swamp thing down here. I saw that. I saw that. From afar. And some box skeleton warriors. What's up with that? Oh, man. It's got the skull cycle. Came from the same collection that we sourced the Exo Squad from. Makes sense. 90s? Yep. Very cool. I'm actually I'd be interested in those. Uh, Skeleton or something. Carded turtles over here, some vintage, some lithium bottle, obviously. Yep. Modern reissued stuff down there. Yeah, cool. exactly. And then uh, just so. 
you can see. Yep. Awesome. And then right around the uh, corner here, right, Hamilton Gifts Hulk. This guy, this is a beauty, man. He is. Yeah, so this is another thing. I know you're a Hulk collector, and then, you know, the toy box you picked up last year. I thought, man, this would be a nice match. So we pulled this from the shop to bring and show you today. He looks fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you know, fists still man. covered up and everything. He's gorgeous, man. He is. He is. He stands out. I was, we were just talking. I, I bought the uh, Tally Toy Chest nice. last year here. That's so I kind of I want to pair them both. Oh, yeah. You know, so. I have a couple of other, you know, I have... 70, I have the Migo Hulks and I have all that nice, stuff. So, nice. you know, I want to put that all together. I love the Migo Hulks, man. Me well, too. You knew that whole line was just amazing. It was. Yeah. And was. Even the pocket heroes were awesome. Yep. You know? Yep. Those so, were, uh, that's my favorite. That is my favorite Marvel. Right. Like, oh, yeah. 100%. You know, even, and, and early 90s. That's I grew up with early 90s sure, Marvel. So, like, I, but, uh, yeah, that is amazing to see. And then all of this. Wow. This is crazy. Seth is actually uh, going through the storage. And then uh, here's the test shot. I'll lift that up. Is this for sale? Yep, absolutely. CAS 85, I think we're wanting a little over two for it, right? Yep. Uh, but Seth is going through storage and then ended up finding these guys in a um, storage bin with the uh, sealed uh, playset behind me that I'll let you... Uh, let you show your audience. This is unreal. Yeah. That, that was in the box. Look how mint that box is. My honestly, I, I have a, I have a Technodrome box, which is pretty mint, and I have not seen one that comes even close. That is really nice. That is really, really nice. Look at corners, barely any little stress marks there. This is, that is beautiful. Some Mythic Legions, Batman Animated Series. Just trying to go for a little bit of everything, you know? Yeah, no, you guys have a nice spread here, man. Very nice. Really nice mix of stuff. Some classics there, Motu. Little McFarlane Modern Action, Robotech down there. Right down here. Very cool. Oh, American Gladiators, this is yours too? Yeah, yeah. Joust set. That's a recent pickup. Box, very cool. Yeah. Fair enough. Sasquatch Toys and Comics, man. This is a, a very impressive booth. And thank you again for, I mean, like, for packing this stuff up, man. Just to allow me to see it, I greatly appreciate that. And you, so thank you very much. Anytime, man. It's like I said, you know, you're the one that kind of got me into it. I mean, it's fired to the uh, YouTube channel and all that good stuff. So, uh, Thanks, buddy. You know, it's the least I can do. So. We'll make sure we put Sasquatch in the description of this video below. I'll even flash it on the screen here. You guys have an Instagram, all that, so. Uh, what not, too. We're just not running on what not, so. Well, not so we'll have all that information in this video. Thanks again, pal. Hey, man. Thanks, Ron. Appreciate it. It's late night, Friday night. We just got done with dinner. Preview night, we did a full tour, as you guys saw, of the main room, the Honeycomb Ballroom. And we did the Sasquatch Toys and Comics booth in the Cobb Room. That's as much as I could uh, fit in, but during that time, it's late night. Here's the board. We're down in the main lobby here. So you guys can see, we just shared some beers in that room, side room where the lobby swap was. Diamond Dave is here making big time purchases. This is significant to me. The one that is that big? I mean, this has to be significant. You have, you have, you have he's pointing at one thing up on it. <laughs> All the guys are here. Got Kent ready to go. This is a dedicated piece of cardboard with vintage toys and new five weapons. So I am very curious to see what's in there. I think that's what we're gonna go try and check out first or at some point, but we're room swapping. That's the point, right? This is where it gets wild. We're room swapping. It's gonna be fun. Yes. And I guess some of the new crap just because first room swap that I'm documenting here. What do you think, Diamond Dave? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The other room blew my mind. Childhood. That other room on what, what was that? Room seven, seventh floor, yeah. something like that. Had a lot of stuff in there. 
pretty cool. We got some vintage video games here. <laughs> NES, which I really need to not go down that rabbit hole. Well, I need to just that and Pez. I need to avoid that and Pez. No, no, we can't. Just stop. We need to stop listening to Diamond Dave. No, yeah. no, no, no. Thank you, Diamond Dave. Got a lot of loose figures on the. Bed there got that. I think they did clean. I mean, uh, let's see. Ten bucks. Ten bones. Is this uh, soft head? So that did. Maybe go buy that card. No. No. Like O'Hare over there. Great card we'll have to get get closer, uh, take a closer look at that. What's that? Bed bundle. A little bed bundle, possibly. Oh, right I don't know which. I don't know where you're going but uh, Seth does owe me something. Does he bring nothing? Let's look through and see what else we got. Look at the setup here. Classics Castle Grayskull that was upstairs as my prize. Because yeah, you didn't bring cookies. This is a really yeah. impressive room setup. Honestly, this is the most elaborate in all three years that I've come to the show. This is the most elaborate, well set up, professionally run room that I've seen during the uh, swaps here. There's plenty to look at, too. I don't see no one pizza, empty pizza box on Yeah, it's sexual Darth, Darth Tater. Yeah, the, the sign outside. Definitely want to check that out. Yeah. Fisher Price, wow, I remember that as a kid. Holy mackerel. Yeah, I and mean, it's floor to ceiling here. Really impressive. Though. Cake fan, strawberry shortcake. Andy Cook, got your Christmas gift right there. Oh, wow. It's part of Motu, holy crap. You posted that, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Some stuff on the sofa here. Pika Pika. Some flush. Yeah. Side. Mario. Eight bones. Looks clean. Milton Bradley Shogun. Awesome. Got some. I have it loose, but I want it on card, and also too that adult is like extremely hard. Modern stuff, origins. Not here. A whole loose rack. Oh, will be up in the Triclops, twenty complete. Whiplash, twenty. These all look really clean too. Fisto back there. Awesome. You childhood favorite man. You know what I mean? Seriously. So is that the edit? Beast man. Is that a driver? I heard and the so Very I nice. A lot of loose motu. Cobra Khan, Roboto. Oh, yeah. Dang. There's a lot of really good stuff here. Have you heard of Revenge Proofs? Yeah. Thundercats. Some motu vehicles. Pretty sweet, man. Really cool. Check this out from this angle. This room's pretty awesome. And. I'm going to show you the sign on the outside. This is awesome, man. Thanks. Yeah, really nicely set up. Thank you. Take a look at this. Look at that. Walking in, you got an idea of what... This is a really impressive room. Right? Yeah. Like, I don't... In the three years I've been here, I was just saying, like, I have not seen a room... Uh, okay, let's say. Did the new kids make you go... They did. Very nice. So all stuff that we Very nice. Ready? This is what it looks like walking in, even though we just did a full lap. Yeah, room 511 here at Toy Lamb 2024. <laughs> Pretty cool. Is your room swap just right here? Don't, don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Where, where, where are we going? Oh, oh, you know where we're going. I, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> or maybe I do. Listen, there's no reason why we're doing this at 12 o'clock at night. Well, yeah, I'm sure most, mostly everyone watching this right now would be thoroughly confused. Oh, I'm confused. I still have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I'm actually pushing a pretty confused myself when I was approached with this oddball situation here. Listen, you can thank Captain Power Socks for this. And it's safe to say we're not camping outside of the Honeycut Ballroom just to be first in line with, the, uh, with this cop here, is it?
No. I guess we'll, we'll leave it to the comments section. Yeah. yeah. What the hell is this? Yeah, exactly. Can exactly. someone please attempt to explain <laughs> why Mr. What's Palpable, yeah. Seth Bayer, is just barely wheeling a cot into the elevator <laughs> at midnight. <laughs> at midnight. Toyland of 2024. <laughs> Sounds about right though. Let's I'd go. Say. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yo yo welcome to the very next day saturday march 23rd opening day of the show day two of sorts for us i hope you all enjoyed preview night as you saw we did not make it too far out of the honeycut ballroom however that is the biggest room and the main attraction so to speak of the show so i'm happy that we were able to do a full lap through there and really get to see booth to booth what everyone has to offer today we'll pick up with the walkthrough and hunt we'll visit the other rooms and uh, cover anything and everything else that we see in between and on the way. I am going to, I don't know how much of this I'll film, but I'm definitely going to go downstairs and pick up a few things that I saw last night that I definitely want. So we are going to do that, and then we will uh, pick up with the rest of the tour of Toylanta 2024. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, walking in, it's opening day, as you can see, main hallway there, Honeycut Ballroom, which we are not walking through, going through the side hallway here, I, I do want to focus more on the, the rooms, I want to cover all of the rooms for you guys more than anything, as you can see here, another side entrance to to Honeycut. And then we've got the Gwinnett room here to the right, Fulton and Cobb rooms to the left. Let's see if we sneak around, you can... Thank you. We've arrived at the Fulton room. Which we have not stepped into yet. <laughs> Big modern room for sure. As you can tell right away. Some Toy Biz Marvel Legends here. On this middle island. Lots of Marvel Legends. Even more Marvel Legends. I do like that these rooms seem to be thoughtfully set up where, you know, if you are collecting modern stuff and specifically, in this room's case, Marvel Legends, I mean, this is it. Let's see some of the toy biz stuff here. So classified here, and then if we go deeper, even more Marvel Legends, older Marvel Legends. Love that place. Shang-Chi, I remember when this came out. Time flies. Mysterio there in box. Great selection of legends. Man. That's the 97 stuff up top. So classified. Collector case is great. Okay, Table of loose stuff here. Let's look at the next things. 
Some vintage MR2 Thundercats. What is that? That's not not mobile. Alright. 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 Seventy-five on this guy. Interesting. I like it better. More Toy Biz Legends here. <laughs> Take a look at that con. It's crazy. I said All right, walking out of the Fulton room, and here is the Cobb room that we were in last night. Looks pretty busy right now, so why don't we go down the hallway here and check out whatever room this is. The other, oh, this is the Cobb room. Sorry, buddy. This is the pop room, and oh, this is the pop room. Same room. <laughs> All right, Cobb Deck Lab, I think. Room. That's hilarious. If you guys didn't think this was an authentic walkthrough, well, then that should have just proved it right there. You get pretty amazing stuff here. Oh, is the book some notes on that? I bought some notes on that. It's funny, it's still here to help keep all the bits. Sasquatch toys and comics over there that we checked out last night during preview night. We're taking a step back here, this corner looks like it's some modern stuff, a mix of modern pops. Go to Origins. We'll be closer with you guys. Morbid smile art. This is taking up a pretty big part of this room. Interesting. It's pretty cool art here. Hi, guys. Hey. Nice colorful stuff. Ooh, look at that. Many ones there. Looks like. Got a lot of dinos to pick from here. Which is pretty cool. Haunted Forest. Where's that at? Interesting. Sucker for glow stuff. Give you guys a shot of the front here. You want to check them out? And we have this booth here in the corner next to Sasquatch. It's like more modern stuff here. And then back to the big booth here, which has a ton of crazy stuff. I want to get into that pegboard over there. A couple of things that I think we may have just glossed over last night that I noticed earlier this morning. So we will work our way over there once we can find our way in. So I think there might be an opening. Take a quick look. That's the only thing that's better than my news bag, <laughs> Some biker mice from Mars. We can get that back on the card there. Pretty awesome. Oh, sorry, buddy. And then all of this swamp thing down here. 
56. see that just 50 yeah so I'm actually very interested in in all of this honestly and you've got the transducer down here 120 on that we took a look at this last night some mutations down there too we can take a look at I'm sorry Night Ninja Bebop 35 Newton Toka 80 Night Ninja Wrath and Leo and Mike Ding Dang Do <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might, yeah, you know, might have to add some of this stuff into the pile here, pretty amazing, the stuff like I mentioned we saw yesterday, so we'll have to go over that again, but uh, here's the cob room here, the toilet 2024. Making our way to the final room here. As you can see, we're walking past the dining area and bar. Normally, there's stuff set up like over here, off to the side, booths and stuff, but not this year. Oh, hello. Future Mac Electric. Hi. What's your, what have you heard? Hi. Uh, lo lots of things. Oh, it's gone. It, Crazy. It's, it's lo lots of things. But you know what? Much more manageable. Have to make a road trip? These two wonderful friends of mine bared the burden of my nonsense last year, yeah, housed all of my stuff, and then drove it up, which yeah, is just insane. Wonderful. And if you'd like to do it again, sure, but we can figure something else out. Oh, absolutely. I'm happy to uh, meet you in like the Carolinas. Well, not now, in a couple hours. There's se se several sacks. Oh, you can, he's, he's always ready for that. So, yes. so if you do have larger things, yeah. make a lot easier when they get like three or four o'clock put them in the okay. car. Rather than the mess we tried to do last time. It was a disaster, somewhat of a yeah. disaster. Yeah. Just sit them in the that was a disaster. Right that was a disaster. Yeah. yeah, this year is actually everything fit into one big box, a couple of sacks, that's it. We'll see how this goes in there, I don't know. Probably badly for me, but uh, yeah. How is it? I have not walked through that room. You haven't been there at all? No, well, I... Dipped my toes last night, and that was it. Not yet. No, it's, it's probably all gone now, though. Yeah. No, he sold a lot, but there's still a lot. Is there? I think he had stuff he held back. Okay. We're about to go check it out. So. Yes. We're, go, we're about to go see this man on the panel soon, 1.30, right? Four horsemen. Yeah, we'll cover that, too. Yes. Oh, yes. I need me some pudding, yes. Looks like the 501st is in here. It's pretty cool. Always make a showing. Oh, right. There's this room. So this is before the big room in the back. And the big room in the back last year is where most of the damage to my wallet was made. And some silver hawks up there, it looks like. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. This is always the typically the Lego display. The vintage. Do you want me to I, take oh yeah, it is. each one of these guys out and put them in a plastic baggie? Or do you want to... Can you transfer... That could arguably be my favorite set as a kid. Remember the Wolfpack stuff, the Islanders, I had all of that up until probably a few years ago. I just, I can't collect Lego and action figures all at the same time, but I love all this stuff. Especially Lego Castle, which never received enough love. It's always the licensed stuff that gets a lot of attention, but the new D&D set looks pretty good. Wow, it brings back memories. I had so many skeletons with different plate helmets. It's a great booth. Let's see what's around the side here. It would be an easier for you.
Very nice. Up against this wall, looks like a mix of some vintage and modern here. A lot of loose stuff here on the table. It's awesome. Turtles. Toy Biz X Men there. Three dollar bin? Yeah. Five dollar one too. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, buddy. They wouldn't have even seen that. Thank you. Five dollar bin in here. So this is from the $10 bin, and then you got the $10 table. Got some Simpsons there, it's awesome. Can I take a picture of that real quick? Very nice booth. We'll see if we can walk our way through. There are more bins here too, Transformers. Legends, newer stuff. Spidey chilling. <laughs> Writes comics and more. Buy, sell, trade. Nice banner here. Looks like some Ghostbusters, some Select. DC Multiverse, DC Direct. Comics and long boxes. And that. Gamers Alley is here. Which is pretty awesome. We've covered that on the channel a few times. We were there most recently last November. And this, this big room, see this has changed, man. I'll tell you right now, all the way in the back, big Dino Riders case that uh, I, I, I kind of regret not picking up some of that stuff last year. I was just, I, I was buying other things that, it's not like I wasn't buying other things, <laughs> you know? They're those giant sized turtles I was telling you guys about. 25 bucks a pop. So those are definitely incomplete. Pizza thrower up there. Technodrome incomplete, 250. Some of the dino turtles here. Oh, Leo again. Gray skull. Snake mountains. Nice selection here. Death Star Space Station, 1200 OBO. Get in your offers now. Rancor for 80. This is where Blue Ridge Toys and Comics was last year. Got McCulture Customs over here. We can't even get to that booth, so. <laughs> Marvel Legends, Toy Biz Marvel Legends, Street Sharks, ooh, look at that in there, got a scratch, I need to complete my scratch, <laughs> but I highly doubt I'll be completing it by uh, buying those weapons, creepy crawlers, Shogun Godzilla there, yep. Cops and Crooks. Some Lucy's here. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-five hundred, twenty-five hundred bones. Mommy, that's great. Mommy's in the bathroom. Some Tracy on card here. Last action hero. Tiger toys. Land of the Lost. Some die cast here. For all you die cast guys, let's see what we got here. I'm not a die cast guy, so I don't have much to say. But for anyone that likes and enjoys die cast, here you go. Oh, 
Keep going here. Thank you. Yeah, they had your ass. Select your gadget. This has been a random stuff. Barnyard commandos, trolls. Pokemon bugs. $8 smart thing. Tasmanian Devils. Awesome. Something you'd run at a carnival in the 90s for sure. Except have this big cow that I won. Uh, this place local to me. Recently shut down, very sad. Called Sports Time USA. And I was obsessed with all of those carnival. They had, even back then, man, they had the best carnival stuffed animals and toys and stuff. You know? Ghostbusters, Thundercats. We will uh, try to zip around there so we can see the rest of those cases, but for now. Looks like a good parts bin right here. Ooh, Battle Beasts. Oh, I need to dig through this. I need to dig through this. I need Triple Threat Snake, where's he at? I need a couple more vehicles too in the place up. I can't stuff here. Some LJNs in the back. Look at this display. My little pony. Thank you. I prefer, I love German cars and uh, especially the Pretty neat. Fortune die cast right down there. This is from my. Well, we'll get back there in a moment. I won't forget about that. Looks like a lot of modern stuff on this table that we see at big box retail, Target, and Walmart. More Battle Beast? Oh man. Oh yes. We need them with rub and complete. So we'll have to better evaluate that off camera. And keep walking through here. Lucy Rack. Vintage Star Wars, Kenner Star Wars, and G.I. Joe. Some Mythic Legions. Some modern mixed in there too, class five. I've got box games uh, in my room. I was out of my room and this table opened up, this box, so I came down here. Those are the box ones. If there's anything you're looking for. The bigger booth here. That Goolsville up there. It's awesome. Our crossbows and catapults. Yeah. Oh, nice kind of exciting. What's that? 75 on that? It's a Mighty Max. This is an incredible case. Rock Lords. Changeables. Adam's family. I love your booth. Awesome stuff. I don't know. I've got a gaming corner this year. Joe's and Games. That was a close look, actually. I'll show you guys. I look down this table here and pan across. Got some Nintendo 64 games in there. Sega games over here. The GameCube and an SNES. Just seeing that now. 80 on this guy. More games, some of the more modern stuff here. What a big wall of Joe's. Look at that. 
So you guys are looking some of this. Check that out. This is sweet. Must say no to Joe. It's my motto. Must say no to Joe. Some whoops. Oh, two here too. Back up to the front. Two big booths here for last year. Back there. What's up, bro? Yeah. It's a Marvel Legends here, too, if you guys are interested in that. A lot of Marvel Legends at the show. And mostly in one spot, which is kind of nice. Again, I do like how organized this is. Look at this. I've got to get into here. And I try to get coverage of this booth, but I can never get into it, so good for you. <laughs> Culture Customs. Look at this. Jesus My first convention, so it's kind of crazy. Custom Grayskull. Some classics there. Some Seven Ultimates. And when we get a chance, we're going to. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, do you? Oh, cool, man. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it. Nolan. Nolan's a good. Nolan's a very good dude. Yeah, he's great. And he's got an awesome Mythic Legions club. That's kind of how it goes. I, I, when I need to make decisions for myself, I put my phone down and I go walk in the woods and I think about, <laughs> you know, like if I didn't have any influence on me and I walk into a toy show alone, like what would I actually want to buy? Right. Because there are things that I know I want and then there are all the fringe things that I'm like, well, I could use this and I have all these other enablers in my ear and things that you see. So gotta got to find ways to try and make decisions. You know? And then half the time we all just decide to go buy it all over. Right? And, then, and then there's that. So <laughs> can't can't walk in the woods forever. So right, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Eventually, eventually you're coming out of the woods. So. With that, with that, folks, that is uh, going to wrap up the big back room here. And I think the entire walkthrough for uh, Toyland 2024 is done. Okay, guys, wrapping up Toylanta 2024 here. I'm back up at the room. And as you can see, there are a few things on this table behind me. We'll get into the hall in just a moment, but I did want to take a moment just to thank Ricky and his team for once again, allowing me to come in with a press pass and show you guys this stuff firsthand, give you guys a first look at things before the general public here today. And I've said this a thousand times and I'll say it again. This is my third year at this show and each year the show has grown. It's gotten bigger and in my opinion, it's gotten better. Not only is it a fantastic toy show, but Ricky and his team also, I've said this a thousand times to a thousand people, I'll say it again. He puts on one of the most well-run toy weekends of the year. So I highly recommend this show. If you guys can make it down here to Peach Tree Corners, Georgia, I highly recommend it. It's a great venue. This Hilton, this particular hotel is, is great uh, for this show. I always look forward to it every single year, coming down to meet my old friends, meeting new friends, sifting through, combing through, hunting through a million and one amazing booths here. The foot traffic is consistently good throughout the entire show from room to room. It's not at any point in time, I felt at any point in time, too much. There's always ample space and room to move around. 
it's just a very enjoyable show, a very enjoyable weekend. So with all of that said, why don't I flip the camera around and show you guys the pickups. Quick shot of the table here with all the pickups. We definitely got busy today. Big shout out to Sasquatch Toys and Comics and my buddy JT Frazier for, for bringing this guy all the way from Birmingham, Alabama to me. This thing has amazing presence. You walk into a room, this thing is standing there, you notice it right away. I instantly fell in love with it. I really wanted to see it in person before I decided to buy it. And uh, JT and Seth were kind enough to bring this uh, to me here at Toy Lana. And it was an instant purchase. So we picked this guy up and I plan to pair him with my Tally Toy Chest Hulk that I bought last year, also from the late 70s. And that is going to go in front of a vintage Hulk poster from the 70s that I have. So very excited for that. I'm probably going to put some box Toy Biz Hulk stuff there and my Mego Hulk uh, along with it for one big Hulk display in the new toy room. That is just about done, by the way. I'm looking to move in as I come home from this show. So some box Conan here sealed Hasbro. Some turtle auto mutations, all sealed. Skeleton warriors sealed. You can see a bunch of those. So that covers, well, this box of 90 stuff. And then we've got some early 80s stuff. Dragon Riders of the Sticks. We found the Demon Flyer driver blue ridge toys and comics shout out to chris hooked it up this guy's minty look at that chris star picked up a crystal warrior also very minty from blue ridge this is all from blue ridge and force user 74 on instagram who those guys always have incredible stuff he doesn't have his scepter the eye thing but uh you know, we'll find that. He actually had two of these. He had one complete that I saw last night and then I got sidetracked. So, but uh, that's okay. This guy is pretty mint, so I'm not too worried about tracking down the other piece. And this big SOB, we did pick him up. Nicker, Bocker, Lord of the Rings, Gandalf, complete, no repro. And look how mint that is. He is mint. This is a an absolute beauty so we were able to cross another one off the list i did pick up a frodo off ebay for 111 shipped and he is mint as well he's not complete but he's mint so slowly but surely we are we are getting there I'll put this here for now and then this was also here last night remco skull man complete and as mint as mint can be there goes the uh baggie there but uh, look at this. I mean, just unbelievable. He's got his knife back there, the bow, all original, no repro, amazing. In this bag, we picked up, we actually picked up, here's the Forgotten Sewers Leo for 200. I actually got this lot for 250, so we picked up Dino Turtles, I have these already with the reins, but I am missing a weapon for Leo. So this was my way of completing Leo, and now I'll have an extra dino that I can figure something else out with. Shout out to my buddy Ricky for picking this up for me. I did not make Legion's Con last year, so he was kind enough to bring this to me uh, and save this for me. For this weekend so big shout out to him the mythic legions pickup of the weekend and then last but not least i can get this out of here safely with one hand let's see yes something you do not see every day boxed arco the other world amazing stuff there it is sealed i really don't want to mess with this too much <laughs> So I'll show you guys this in better detail once it's set up in the toy room, but uh, super happy to add this into the collection. This is really just something you do not see at all 
at any point in time. You see this stuff loose a lot, most of the time incomplete. I'd love a Castle Zendo one day, but um, this was a really nice surprise. Again, Blue Ridge Toys and Comics never fails. And yeah, guys, that is the haul here at Toy Atlanta 2024. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Okay, guys, that is going to wrap it up for Toy Atlanta 2024. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the show, what you thought of the walkthrough, the pickups, what you would have picked up, what you wouldn't have picked up. Let me know down below. Thanks again for taking the time here on the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you on the next hunt. Peace.